What's going on there folks? Good evening, it's the Earthmaster here on this uh, Monday night, August 1st, 2022 date, about 9.07 p.m. West Coast time. Got a 3.3 earthquake out here in the uh, middle of the Pacific, out around the Hawaiian Islands. Let's go ahead and check out the activity. Uh, we'll get back to Iceland activity here in a little bit. I was checking up on the volcanoes over there, but uh, we'll get to that here in a second. I want to look at the activity over here around the Hawaiian Islands. 3.3 coming in off of the big island up here uh, towards Maui. A 3.4 at uh, 8.1 kilometers. Seen some uh, outside activity up here as well. Let's bring up the all magnitudes and see what we got uh, cooking out here along the big island. Seen some further movement up here around Mola and Loa up at the uh, crater area and also down here around Pahala where we've seen a, uh, well, a three point, it looks like a 3.7. I originally think this came in as a 4.0. Looks like they've downgraded that pretty significantly from that 4.0 threshold down to, or a 4.0 magnitude down to a 3.7. So either way, quite a bit of activity kicking up there around the Pahala region and also up north here. Uh, we don't see too much activity up here um, off of Maui, but it does happen and kind of happen in tonight. Uh, earthquake activity up around the Iceland area. I've been kind of watching that uh, pretty closely. been seeing a swarm of movement up here uh, throughout the Iceland region around the plate boundary. I was checking out the volcanoes. Um, there's not a whole lot of new activity right now as far as unrest goes, but I am keeping an eye on it. Uh, everything looks for the most part as it has been uh, in terms of eruption stages here throughout the volcanoes of Iceland. Nothing showing uh, any type of unrest yet, but, but whenever we see earthquake activity, it could be a leading sign of something brewing underneath the surface, right? All right, West Coast activity, looking at uh, some movement throughout the Pacific Northwest and also into Northern California. A little trail of activity nosing down from about the southern end of the Cascadia uh, megathrust area all the way down inland into the coastal ranges here around the Makama Fault pretty active around the creeping section of the san andreas fault a lot of microquake activity uh, in fact pulling up just a 2.5 and above not a whole lot here in california for that threshold so most of it uh if not uh, all of it there below 2.5 no major swarms to take note of uh, in the southern part of the state uh, looking like the pyramid lake region up north here seeing a little bit of activity throughout the day today as well uh, with that 2.7 and a 1.3 that area does tend to come and go in terms of uh, swarms on occasion a little activity out here around south dakota hot springs south dakota Ooh, what do we got out there out around the southern end of the black hills a little odd earthquake out there don't see too much movement uh yellowstone national park getting a little earthquake activity out here around the mammoth area We'll check out the seismograph station here in just a little bit throughout the uh, um, Texas region. Seen a couple small microquakes and also over here around the new Madrid, Madrid zone. We've seen a 2.4. Uh, let's see. Uh, around Puerto Rico, things kind of uh, a little mellow out there. Not a whole lot of activity. 16 earthquakes and most of it within the swarming area. South America getting some clusters of deep earthquake activity here along the Peru, uh, Peru Chile Trench, center portion of it looks like. Uh, deepest one is a 4.5 at 204 kilometers uh, in that area. Also, we noticed some movement around the South Sandwich Islands as well, 4.7 uh, for that area. Up in Alaska, looks like a typical day up there. Not seeing any major swarming across the Aleutian Trench yet. Uh, or as I should say, as we had seen over the past couple of days, things look like they're tapering off a little bit. Not a whole lot of movement throughout the Japan area either. Uh, most of the movement today has been confined here to the Fiji Islands and spread out throughout the Indonesia area. Uh, looking at the Fiji Islands area, check out this earthquake. Uh, kicking up here a little bit ago, a 4.1 at 641 kilometers deep. That is a deep one, that's for sure. So looks like that is the latest. Let me see what we're looking at as far as the latest activity goes. If we get rid of Hawaii, uh, looks like that's the latest one here. So uh, in terms of watching some areas, 
the deeper movement does tend to trigger some activity upstream here along the Tonga Trench, Kermadec Trench area. And right now it's pretty quiet. Uh, let's see, not a whole lot going on westward over around the Himalayas or uh, Middle East, Mediterranean Sea region. All looks pretty quiet as far as 4.0 and above goes. We did have a 4.2 in the Turkey area, but that's about it. Uh, looking at Yellowstone National Park here, got a uh, little activity as noted on the USGS map here, mostly around the Maple Creek area, Mary Lake. We can see it showing up here. Just a couple small blips on the radar screen or the seismograph station, we should say. Um, but that's about it. Not a whole lot going on in Yellowstone. Uh, trimmer activity. 15 epicenters of trimmer, mostly uh, underneath the area of, uh, I'd say that's kind of the central coast of Oregon here, down there. At about 35, 45 kilometers down into the uh, subduction zone of the Cascadia. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal whatsoever. Uh, looking at space weather real quick. Then we're going to cover some fire activity. Uh, see if we can't squeeze it in a little bit. Looks like we're looking at some potential uh, geomagnetic unrest here over the next couple nights. 45% uh, chance of uh, some storming at the higher latitudes. No major flares have popped up except for that C9.3 C um, yesterday. That sunspot uh, is starting to... Let's see where that thing's at. I don't even know if it's in, uh, if it's in view yet. I mean, there's a couple sunspot developing uh, on the far eastern limb. Looks like that's going to be on the upper uh, northeastern area right here where that uh, C9.3 kicked off. So we'll watch these areas as they come into uh, rotation. 3068 though is starting to grow a little bit. Might want to watch out one here for some uh, for for some more C flare or uh, at least some C flares. It is earth <coughs> earth directed currently. Let's see if I can get through this tonight. Last night I had to cut it off short in the update. Of course, I was covering the fire up there in the uh, ooh, in the Klamath River area, and I felt it all day today. I've just been in a drag all day, super tired, uh, just weird, you know, but not good. I know standing out in the smoke's not good, but, uh, you know, even if you're wearing a mask, it doesn't really help in that thick environment uh, up there where I was at yesterday. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do when the story calls you. I follow it. Um, let's see. Fire activity. We did have some rain today here in California. In fact, in uh, around my area of Chico as well. And I know these guys got quite a bit of rain up here throughout the region of the Wairika area. Not for sure if it put a huge damper on it. Uh, looking at the total uh, burn area right now, we got 56,000 acres with the McKinney fire. Still sits at 0% containment. That's kind of odd there. Uh, evacuation orders are as such there, listed on the zone map. Um, the latest report put out this uh, late afternoon, early evening from community meeting weather has given them a good opportunity to get in line. Uh, they do have a, do a dozer line around Wairika on the ridge tops and a secondary dozer line closer to town. Have been receiving precipitation throughout the day on the eastern side of the fire. Currently have no missing persons, but the Sheriff's Department urges to call uh, if you think someone is accounted for. They're doing uh, welfare checks up there. As uh, far as any new sunspots, or uh, sunspots, these are not sunspots. Um, fires out here. Looks as though that China fire over here, China 2, is starting to take off a little bit. 0% containment still out there in some heavily forested areas. This one right here was started by a fire. But after talking to CHP and CAL FIRE yesterday uh, with the McKinney fire, this fire actually started before the lightning storms um, that sparked the China 2 fire and a couple others around here. So they're uncertain as to the cause of this fire. It seems highly suspicious in my book when it comes to uh, the activity. And it's a big one out there. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they get things under control. The weather, it's supposed to cook tomorrow. We go from being about 75 degrees with uh, showers and whatnot throughout the day today to 106 tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But man, did I enjoy today. 
All right, guys, I'm going to bounce off here. Um, like I say, I, it's, the smoke absolutely killed me last night. Didn't get much sleep from coughing, hacking up a lung. And uh, I'm still feeling it today. I'm definitely still feeling the uh, the effects of breathing in that uh, smoke. And, you know, and there's a lot of houses burned up there, so I'm not for sure what I was breathing in, but I'm sure it wasn't the best air quality for sure. Um, but, hey, all right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.